grow women. Because we are free Negro women. Fall of free Negro women. This is the last week of a play that you will want to see at the Indiana Repertory Theater if you haven't seen it yet. And if you have, go back and see it again. Uh, understand they've been getting a lot of repeat traffic to see Flying West. Uh, it's a very cool production with a very unique story. One of the stars of the play, Lakeisha Lorene, is with me and the Associate Artistic Director for the IRT, Benjamin Hanna, as well. First of all, how you doing? Great, great. Thanks for having me. No having problem. Us. Flying West is about what? Because it seems like it's it's nonfiction and fiction at the same time. Absolutely. Historical so, fiction, I suppose. Historical fiction. Okay. So yeah, it's a story about three sisters set in the very real town of Nicodemus, Kansas mm -hmm. in the late 1800s. Um, so this is at a time when black settlements were across the states. Um, so it's a story about family, it's about ownership, it's about um, freedom, uh, and it's a very uplifting and hopeful story with very interesting things that our audiences have taken away um, from coming to the play that they didn't know about uh, when it comes to black history and American history here. And this is before emancipation now too. Yeah. But that when when people were settling the West, there were there were one there were black settlers, but there Absolutely. were entire black towns. There were black towns, yeah. And this one in particular is really interesting because it was primarily run and filled with black women and mm -hmm. widowers. So uh, you get to see the strength of sisterhood, uh, these women who are, you know, running this town but enjoying life. So there's that history portion there, but there's also a piece of each sister that every person can relate to uh, when it comes to different personality types and dealing with different things that happen in families. Benjamin, why is a play like this important for the theater? For, for your theater, for the IRT? You know, IRT is an incredible regional theater that celebrates and lifts every Hoosier. And so it's so important that we make sure that all of our stories are being told and that each one is given uh, the beauty and the respect and lifting of our full community. So what's really awesome about this play is it, as Lakeisha said, it celebrates four different women, four generationally different women and their connection yeah. and their vibe and their energy and every audience member that I've seen when they're walking out is saying like oh I'm Sophie or like you're just like Minnie or you're just like Miss Leah <laughs> yeah and there's a lot of connection regardless of your background absolutely of who you would be in the story now who is Sophie who is your character my character is the eldest sister uh, she is a pioneer she is a homesteader she's tough she uh, doesn't really care what anyone has to say about anything, but she also is very loving and tender to her family. So she's very protective, um, and she's that like quintessential leader of the family. Have you ever wondered what it would be like to, to live in that era? Just, I mean, ju just, I mean, I we, did, we have, yeah, yeah so, so many comforts of uh, what we have now, not to mention how society has changed, obviously, between uh, yeah. now and 1820, uh, whatever. What, what do you think about living in that era? Oh, man, I think I would be Sophie. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Sophie, like really, Sophie was a visionary. She was hopeful, she mm. was passionate, and she knew that there was more than what she saw around her. And I think for even today, with all of the comforts that we have and all of the privileges that we don't realize we have until we look back at stories like this, we have to realize if you want to see something, you have to, if you want to see a change, you have to be the change. And that's something that Sophie just embodied in every essence of her being. So yeah, I've, I've thought about those times and as I'm learning more about those times, I'm like, yeah, I, I would probably be Sophie. So it's fitting that I get to play the character yeah. in the play. <laughs> yeah. Now this is part of a, a specific inclusion initiative at IRT, correct? Sure. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yep. So one of the things that IRT and many regional theaters across the country are doing is really thinking about whose stories have been told over time, right? Mm -hmm. Whose stories have been left out? And this is an incredible opportunity to celebrate the history mm -hmm. of black Americans. And when we think about what's happening today, we always have to look back at our past to say, how did we end up in this moment? Mm -hmm. And this story can illuminate some of that history. All right. So this is a big part of the 50th anniversary season also of the Indiana Repertory Theater, about the halfway point of that season now. And again, this is your last week that you can see Flying West, Flying West, excuse me, there's no G on there. <laughs> flying West <laughs> at the IRT. Uh, best way to get tickets? IRTlive.com. Go on the internet, get that, get get it, uh, get your tickets, and uh, tickets start as low as twenty-five dollars. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of access points. Exactly. So go see a show, a very good show, and an important one, an important part of our history and Indiana history, because Indiana did have some of these black towns 
in that era as well. Flying West at the IRT. Lakeisha Lorraine, Benjamin Hanna, thanks so much. Appreciate it. Thank thanks. you.